Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna. Thank you so much for coming by. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, welcome. And please know that I do have a um, challenge coming up, a giveaway, and a challenge giveaway combo. It's going to be three, three different things that are coming up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that is coming up. I'm trying to get the details together right now as far as how I want to, you know, how I want to set it up. Okay. But before that, um, I wanted, I have a, I know this is like very off kilter, but K is for Karen. If you guys have never visited her, K is for Karen. She is awesome. We are family. It's almost fam familia. Um, she shared a haul from Dollar General. I never go there. So this is from Dollar General and I don't have enough to share for like a whole video. So I figured I just do this Dollar General in front of the Dollar Tree. Um, they had some American Crafts paper stacks for $5 there, you guys. They have um, her Dollar General had a whole bunch of American Craft items. Um, not mine. I didn't find that much, but hers had the hookup. You guys have to go check out her channel, see everything that she was able to find. But this is one of the paper stacks that they had there for $5. They are just the front, not the back, but they're very pretty. And they had several different kinds. This is just like the one that I picked out personally. And then here's the other one by American Crafts Everyday Papers. And I just love the vibrancy of these. I do paper crafts and what have you. If you guys go check out my DIYs, my latest videos. And I'm also thinking about, isn't that cute? I know, five bucks. I was also thinking about opening up a separate dollhouse miniature channel just to do all my Dow House miniature videos there. So just a heads up, that's something that I might have in the works. Also from Dollar General, make sure I'm saying it right. Yes, Dollar General. I picked these up, these were a dollar and these are these really cute clips from Dollar General. They had the Nomi's for a dollar, okay. Then they, this was expensive. This one was like, um, I actually have the receipt. This was uh, $5.75, maybe? No, it wasn't. No, this was $5, I think. $4.50. <laughs> I think it was $4.50, but this is really cool. Okay, and you can use this for all kinds of crafts, including clothing. I know. Then the last few items I got were the chapstick and the vacation, vacation, um, getaway theme and those were 345 and the it's limeade snow cone and cotton candy again dollar general and then the last item i told you it wasn't like enough to do a whole video was the airwick and the airwick was priced at i think five dollars 575 and this was in the forest leaves and spices and it smells so good. So I picked that up. Okay. Dollar General. Go check out K's for Karen. She had like all the stuff from American Crafts that she found. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. If you're enjoying your visit, I hope you subscribe and give my video a like. If you could just stop what you're doing and give it a like. It helps people find my channel. It helps my channel to grow. And on that note, any other channel that you guys watch, if you really and truly enjoy their channel, give them a thumbs up because that helps their channel to grow no matter how small or how big they are. It um, helps people find them and it changes them up in the algorithm for YouTube. Okay, so if you like a channel, do that for them. All right. Let's get into it. Um, I picked these up. Everything I'm sharing is $1.25. All my stuff's a dollar. I don't have the plus store. I don't. If I did, I'd probably lose my mind. <laughs> so these, everything I'm sharing is $1.25 from the Dollar Tree. So they have these really cute, um, what do you call them? Nutcrackers. Yeah. They're nice and big. Look at the little feet. Look, I know. So stinking cute. What I like to do with these is I have the bottom of my stairs in the front. Since you open up the front door, they have like the two posts. I like to put them on either wood post like this in front of the wood post. Yeah, that's why I got two. Love it. I saw a whole bunch of y'all sharing these. Oh, 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 I dropped something. Ugh. Noah, come here. I need you to help me pick something up. 
um, these LED candy canes. Now, this was awesome because if you don't have electricity outside, it's just this one box, sweetheart. Thank you so much. This is a great way to go. It's battery operated and it lights up really cool. The person who lit it up and showed it was Donna Unboxes. She just shared it this week. Go check out Donna Unboxes if you want to see the candy cane lit up. She actually put the batteries in it and lit it up. And make sure that you have your steak. I don't know how well it's going to do outside, but I bought it from the indoors. I got two. I got mine for the indoors, though. Just keeping it real. Then, um, cobblestone corners. You know, everybody, all their stores are coming out with all the cobblestone stuff, right? Not so much in my area. I had to ask the, the store floor manager to see what they had in the back because I wanted something very particular from that collection until they pull it all out, okay? So it's my understanding they were in one store, the one next to Aldi's, they were pulling it out today, supposedly, but they don't have everything yet, but they're, they're pulling out what they have. This is what I got. So I got a couple. I'm not going to show you repetition here. Okay. So I got, these are the things that I got. I can use these for my dollhouse miniatures. And that's why I was just like, please tell me what you got in the bag, please. And he was able to do that for me. So this is the first one. Okay. This is the first one. I know I got stuff on my computer. It's so bad. There you go. So it looks like stone. Now I'm going to pop it open so you can see how big it is for those that like to do DIYs and do dollhouse miniatures and other things, you know, so you see how big it is because it doesn't give you a size. It doesn't. So it's this big. All right. Is that big? And that's the detail. Now, when you pull it out, it does have a little bit of outgassing smell to it. It does. It's like, you know, it has a little smell, but give it a minute and it'll clear up. I promise you. Um, I did try to pull it up with the SKU online to see if I could just buy some, you know, a box worth and they don't have it available. They don't. So if you're going to ask me for the SKU, sorry. Here's the next one. This is the brick. So they have the brick. And in the back, it's like felt, but it's really thick. So you can do this. You could put this faux brick around a house, inside of a door. Um, you could do like a little uh, inside of a fireplace for the background, a fireplace, wrap this around a fireplace, just all kinds of stuff. Okay. And then this is the last one. Okay. Let me put this over here in my bag, my trash bag. All right, this is the last one. And this is the only thing I got from that collection as of right now, because I was just pressed for these, because I know these are probably gonna fly off the shelves. Um, there you go. So it's that big and it looks like that. Love the detail on it, so cool. Uh, so again, really cool for DIYers, dollhouse miniaturists. Oh my gosh, for $1.25, you can get all three. Okay. I just wish it was more, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. Now in the stationary department, I did buy my crystal clear six piece refill because I shared with you in my last haul, my unicorn and my flamingo tape dispenser that we love. I know. I know my hair is a mess. I just did a Dion company plus size try on and I'm looking like a mess and it is what it is, honey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And we were cleaning and we're still not done. There, there you go. So I got the refill for that purpose. Then it's, let's stay in the stationery. Let's stay there. Let's stay there. They had, I got these because we like to write with these. It's an eight pack $1.25 by ink. But they also had the colored ones. Yes, these are the actual colors. The pen color that you see is the actual color of the ink. Yes, 10, right here. They have them available again. They had these available like a year or two ago, I want to say, or three years ago. I haven't seen them since, at least not in my area. So it's nice to see them back if you like to draw color or change up your journaling with different colors, you know, for whatever reason. Yeah, and my kids like to use them. Staying in this stationary um, area, we got Crafter Square stickers, and these are so reminiscent 
to the really expensive Michaels Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. Look, so cool for a dollar twenty-five, and it's a whole bunch of art stuff, and they're like a little bit puffy. So cute, great for scrapbooking, card making, you name it, gift tag making, whatever you want to do. It's all up to you. Then guess what I ran across? Crafter Square Rub-On Transfer. Do you remember when they brought these transfers in? They flew off the shelves. I'm talking about they flew off the shelves because they're so pretty. I couldn't believe I found this. I'm going to open it up so you guys will know. It's, it's a rub-on transfer. You don't have to rub it on. You can literally use it like this within your projects. You can put it inside your junk journals, your dailies, whatever project you card making. Just cut it out or you can actually just cut it. Go like this. Slip it into your book. Booyah. You're done. There you go. I'm trying to tell you they have them back. I couldn't believe it. That was the only design I was able to find though. The only design. Okay. The next one that we're going to be talking about. Ooh, it's a crafter square item. Yeah, it is. Are these little white beads. Now they had them in different colors. They did. This is a 24 pack. I only wanted the white um, because I want to make some um, dollhouse house miniature stuff with it. So they had it in different colors though. So just heads up. They do have them and they are wood. So it just... It's, it helps you skip a step, painting, drying, making sure you didn't miss a spot. It's already done, honey. You just get to your project and get it done, honey. Get it done. Now for Christmas, I know I kind of jumped over Christmas. I'm getting back into it now. I know, but it's okay. We'll be okay, right? They have the Christmas house decorative bells. Now, uh, I bought something and... Everybody moved everything here on my table, and I don't see it now. And it is a bell. It's a bell. Wait a minute. I know. I, oh, my daughter stuck it over here. I see it. And I'm wondering what else she put in here that I was supposed to share. Okay. Here. There's something else I wanted to share. Just right there. Okay. This. So they have these. You see that? They have them in this really pretty neutral, really pretty color. They have it in the red and the black, the white and the black, and they have it in like a red. This is the one I picked out. I love the theme of it. Love the theme of it. And I was like, okay, I can make some like really big, cool ones. Just saying. I have the burlap. I have all this stuff. I can do it. I can make really big ones. Because they had the decorative, the really cool, big decorative bells. They have them. And look, compared to the size to this one, you see how much bigger it is? So I can make a really big one and make it look really cool. And look how pretty these bells are. I know. I know. Gorgeous. So they had in gold, silver, and red. So they have in all three colors. So you could do a whole bunch of different projects and it'll be like just Bell City. Love, love, love this. Oh my gosh, I know. The sounds of bells. Okay, I'm gonna put these here. Let's see if they quiet down. They quiet it down. Then I did get these little bottle brush type um, Christmas trees by Crafters choice square whatever you want to call it but I want to get the ones to light up I'm hoping like I said they were starting to put the stuff out I'm hoping I can get get back out there sometime in the future and pick some of those up okay then in the only toy department item yeah only toy department item I got was the sonic hedgehog super clip charm charm so these are charms and the only reason why I bought them is because my boys like to put clips on their backpacks and sometimes they'll even put them on their, on their winter coat to put a little cute clip and they zip up and they like Sonic the Hedgehog. So that's the only reason why I bought them. So I got two. Um, there you go. And now you know why. Then in the sock department, 
I had shared before that they had the two pack of the Gildan men's underwear in different sizes. And I only found one pack of the men's V-neck t-shirts. Well, I found more. So I got one more pack. Um, you know, that we're a family of six. So I got I got a bunch of boys, and these are for um, little Frankie, size large, because that's what fits him. And he's already worn the shirts, and he really likes them. They are V-neck, and they're very comfortable, and they fit him great. And these do have the Cool Spire um, thing, moisture wicking, going on for it, which is kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then they had these really cool socks, and they have them. They're called Crazy Socks. This one has ding-dongs on them. <laughs> and these are not Dollar Tree. They're by Hostess. In the back, you see, it says Hostess. And it has, like, ding-dongs on there. Yeah. Then we have the Chupas. The Chupa Chupas. Those are the lollipops. I thought that was really cool. And then they have the um, Gamer. Mm -hmm. The Gamer Sock, which was also really cool by Crazy Socks. So I got those three. Let me put this over here. Then I did pick up one pair of socks for myself. My miniature little thing here is falling. And I was surprised to see these. Um, Y'all are like, girl, they got those all the time. These are size 8 to 14. They're bigger than what they normally are. I'm a size 12 shoe. So to find a 8 to 14 sock for me is amazing. So I only got one pack. They had it in pink and, and like another design. I liked the camo and this camo floral. I thought it was just like the coolest thing ever. So I got that one pack. Then in the food, the foodie department, well, I should say this before we get into the food department. Um, this is the only thing I got from the beauty and health, I believe. This Lavoris, they brought the Lavoris back. This does have peroxide in it. I love this Lavoris, and they used to have it all the time on a regular. Then all of a sudden, it stopped. It stopped. You gotta wait, baby. And um, yeah. So they have it back, and I got some. I went back to the store after the fact, and they're all gone, wiped out, just that fast. I got two, so at least I got two. Then um. Let's talk about the essentials containers. Okay, let's talk about these just for one moment. These are cute. They're cute, but are they highly functional? Uh, they have them in different colors. I got this blue because this one, the lid actually like clicks. All the rest of the ones that I picked up, the lids did not click closed. They just laid there. This is the only one that actually the lid, look, see? Oh, look, of course I do that and it comes off because I was messing with it. But the lid actually clicked on. Did you hear the click? It clicked on. Let's see if it'll hold. Look, it clicked on. All the rest would not. So just be careful when you pick these up. They are cool, look, cool looking. They're nice. They come in different colors, but the lids. Girl, the lids. Oh, those lids. Then let me talk about the one book that I got. Um, it says Time at a Time. Beyond the Door. Okay. It's like a kid's book. And I don't know how much this retails for. $18.95. No, $16.95. It retails for $16.95. And it is a straight up chapter book. And it's for kids. So I got that for my son. Because that boy needs to read, honey. He needs to read. Now, for foodie items, I only picked up a handful of things. So I got the Domino's powdered sugar because I needed that to make some of my um, maple butter that I like to make. And I needed some powdered sugar. I didn't have any more. I saw that they had the Quaker chocolate instant uh, four packs of oatmeal. So I picked up one box to let my kiddos try it. I personally like um, the, the uh, oh my gosh, what is it called? There's like a handful that I like. I've never tried this one though, but I just got one just so they can try it. I did buy the Oreo cookie. Well, not the cookie. This is the muffin mix. We made these. I bought two and this, we used this. They were good. 
Um, do they taste homemade? No. But are they good? Yeah, they're good. They're good. They'll, they'll do in a pinch because you do have to add eggs and oil and water. If you didn't have to add the eggs, they'll probably taste like really gross. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is good in a pinch. It's good in a pinch. And they weren't bad. My kids enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. But you know their kids. Then I did get some more of the Nikot crackers with peanut butter. I was able to find three of the Hungry Jack original hash browns. My family enjoys making these. If you find these, these are great shelf stable item. They are dehydrated and you fill it up to, with warm water or hot water up to here. Let it sit for 12 or 15 minutes. It'll rehydrate. Then you pour out the little bit of water, water that's left and then you just cook it. Boom, baby. And lastly, let's see. I feel like I'm missing something because they move stuff. I got some of the Absorbing Junior Plus Pain and Back Relief Patches because oh, this girl was having some problems. There you go. So that is everything. I hope you come back to not miss out on the giveaways. This is going to be three different kinds. Three. Make sure you come back so you don't miss out. Talk to y'all later. Bye.